I dislike labels and I've always disliked being called a dyslectic but this does not mean that it's not an accurate label and it doesn't mean that it's not in some ways descriptive but often we use labels to hide the underlying symptoms or the underlying causes in this case dyslexia is not so much a disability as a learning difference and I used to think that was a cop-out but there's a book written called a dyslectic advantage that explains specifically how this dyslexic advantage actually occurs and why there are disproportionate numbers of dyslexia dyslectics in certain fields um, that reality should come as no surprise to some people but it it doesn't help when people like Neil deGrasse Tyson don't understand that uh, dyslexia is not a disability it is a learning style or a learning difference um, and there are some cognitive advantages in terms of perception in terms of being able to think about a problem differently so in this regard I encourage anyone with dyslexia to either read the book or go to the website uh, there's an audio book for it and I do recommend that that's the way I acquire most of my uh, large knowledge YouTube in that respect is extremely useful for, for me and I have grown a lot with the advent of YouTube and with the depth and level of uh, content that is now available so if you are not a dyslectic but you know a dyslectic please help them get the kind of information and the kind of help that they need um, I haven't been very forthcoming with this information um, in large part because I don't believe um, in labels and I don't believe that it gives me any special privilege it does however mean that I see things in a different way and it's fair to realize that then I may be looking at this from a little different perspective than you and you can use that to your advantage in knowing that I'm actually looking at this a little bit differently so people have looked at my writing and said well why did you think up that or where are you getting these ideas from largely because I look at things differently than you I do notice other dyslectics and I kinda smile and I say I see where they're going with that and I kinda see where it came from um, I am forgiving in large part because I make a lot of mistakes a lot of different kinds of mistakes now I admire the person that can make no mistakes at all and can deliver a speech flawlessly but that doesn't mean that that's the only way to do it and tolerance is something we need buckets of intolerance for ourself is something we also need and so in part by giving this mini PSA on dyslexia I am saying forgive me for not being like you but try to understand that I may have some information you don't have or a perspective that you don't have and it is because I am a dyslectic so I do have an advantage in certain ways anyways I hope this is helpful and um, again please seek out help for your dyslexia learn how to take advantage of your differences instead of trying to overcome them it's not something to overcome it's something to embrace and learn how to leverage in your life you do have advantages and you do have strengths I hope that helps Thank you.